Hello YouTube, this is Trainer Caller, your coach for the San Francisco Swampers, and today is officially week four of the ILL. This week we're facing off against a newcomer to this league, Ty, who is the coach of the um, Virginian Volcaronas. So, going into this, I actually finished training up a new Charizard X. I got a new Rhyperior from Isaiah, so shout out to Isaiah for taking me an Assault Vest Rhyperior. Uh, that's going to be very effective this battle, we'll see. And um, I got a chance to try out my new Zygarde that was actually released the other day, so if you have not picked up your Zygarde yet, make sure you do so. Um, I'm bringing back Electivire, who's not Choice Scarf this time. I'm actually bringing um, Expert Belt to this spell. I'm using Victimizer again, and uh, Crystallasia, the shiny Glaceon that I got from my friend. So that is the game plan set to take on Ty. And um, some threats, I, I was going to go with Garchomp, if it was Scarfed or Mega, uh, and then maybe a Zelf, because those things can be Scarfed as well. Just very fast Pokemon can be my uh, issue when it comes to leagues like this. So, um, I have Flamethrower on this uh, particular Generalo. I, I hit it with Mega Agron's filter, that doesn't do a lot of damage, it does do over half. He gets up his Stealth Rocks, which sucks because I can bring my Bar Clay, the Clay Gall, to this spell, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Here, I figure he might switch out and go into Porygon too, but very obviously, I get the burn off the flamethrower that I went for. So we burn it, which is Okay, I would prefer it being poisoned, or rather toxic, but in this scenario, I'm gonna say, okay, a little bit of residual damage will work. This Rhyperior has, um, Hammer Arm, which is super effective against Porygon too. I don't go for it just yet, I wanted to see how much a Stone Knife would do, I'm like, okay, that's, that's good to know. So, a super effective hammer arm will do a lot of damage. That's what I was thinking at the time. And we get into this stall war where it's like, I'm going to go with a unlimited amount of hammer arm attacks. And he gets to continue going for recover. It is a stall war, exactly. Um, but what the, the situation I want to put him in is put the Porygon to a range where I will KO him once I go down. So we might get a double down out of this. That's what I was trying to do there, but that's um, actually not going to work out. Because uh, I missed this hammer. <laughs> if I KO'd that thing, we would have had, well I guess not a double down because I end up surviving that poison there. Uh, but, you know, I would KO the stupid Porygon, but he gets to live another day. Uh, but I do manage to hit this hammer arm, and we get to put it at a range where my Zygarde can come in and uh, revenge kill it. This particular Zygarde is Choice Scarf. My other ones were like, you know, Choice, or not Choice, uh, the other one were, uh, one is a coil set, and then the other one is like a weird, um, mixed Zygarde. So, uh, yeah, this one's scarfed. I have, I have Land's Wrath, which is a, a little bit weaker than Earthquake. And we definitely don't want this Frowlegager to get a free setup opportunity. Um, so... I end up switching out, going to Crystallasia for Death Fogger, basically, because I can't really... I thought that this... Uh, well, yeah, I did predict the uh, Ice Fang okay, but it's a matter of the Waterfall. If he's going to go for a Waterfall, I hope I can survive it. But I don't, because he gets a crit, uh, which 
sucks. I go with the victimizer on that, uh, after that, rather, and I know for a fact that my victimizer is really bulky. I can take a plus one uh, waterfall, and because I have priority, I will outspeed him, and I don't get flinched, because if he went first, I would get a chance of a flinch from the waterfall. So I get a couple of shadow scenes off. That's okay. And we will uh, bring in my Zygarde go the extreme speed, and then we can go from there. So uh, Zygarde's choice scarf with exchange speed, that is a little bit weird, but I just have it just for the spell. I might not use it again in the future with a choice scarf in conjunction with exchange speed, but realizing that I am locking on E speed, uh, he brings in Mega Agron, and so it's like, okay, he might go the Earthquake, or maybe go the Heavy Slam, or not go the Stone Edge. If you went for Stone Edge there, that would have been extremely badly sparse, but here I get to show off this brand new Charizard X I recently trained on, uh, prepared for this battle. Uh, Alon has Roost, Will-O-Wisp, Heat Wave, and Outrage. And it's designed to be a uh, a bulky set, uh, which has mass HP and a lot in special attack, a lot of speed in there, got a speed, some threats, and I can burn Mega Agron here, for example, and then I can roost off the damage that it does to me, and then I can get the revenge kill with Heat wave. Assume that I don't miss, because I kind of miss moves like these, where it's like 85% accurate, and then it's like I miss it. So we end up kicking out uh, Agra on there, which is fantastic. Now here's Keldeo, and I don't like most Keldeo are scarfed or like choice band or choice specs rather, but this one in particular is a call of mind uh, set. So, he gets up to plus two. I go with an outrage. I tried burning it earlier, but of course the stupid RNG decides to make it so I don't hit it, and it's like, oh, that, that's a waste of time. But yeah, so we get a huge amount of damage onto the outrage there, and I can go back into Zygarde. I just realized that Zygarde is my perfect win condition for this battle. I, I just realized that. Uh, so we go with another E speed, we take him out there, which is fantastic. And I don't take that much from the stealth box, which is perfect. Now here's Garchomp, and Garchomp, uh, I wasn't sure. I, I wanted to bring in my Generago, and it really sucks. If I was scarfed this battle, I would have just hit him with an Ice Punch. I would KO him right there. What I should have done, actually, since he went for the Source Dance, I could have stayed in with Zygarde, gone with an E speed to put some damage, and then switch out Sacrifice Generago, and then bring back in Zygarde. Because, believe it or not, Zygarde's the last Pokemon. I, I, I barely, barely take out Garchomp. So if I had that little extra damage with the E speed, if I went for it, I would have taken out Garchomp. And then I, I was... A little bit confused about the Azelf there. You see Azelf in the team preview. Azelf, he told me that it was a choice scarf set. So, since I was scarfed, we would probably have a speed tie, and he told me that he had Ice Punch. So it doesn't matter if he uh, lost his Garchomp. He could just bring in his Azelf and then uh, go with an Ice Punch and kill me. But that was an epic battle. Um, Kai's battle, or his side rather, is up on his channel, which I'll put in the description. So again, thank you for the match by uh, the Virginia Volcaronas, and next week we're facing off, this is week five, we're facing off against Eric, and I don't know what his team name is, but we'll get that battle up here shortly, and I hope you guys enjoy this battle, so make sure you like this video. Subscribe! I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day, Trainers. Bye!